स्पिरिचुअल स्टोरीज एज टोल्ड बाय रमण महर्षि आई एंड यू चैप्टर नेम एन अर्नेस्ट डिवोटी आस्कड श्री भगवान अबाउट द मेथड टू रियलाइज द सेल्फ एज यूजुअल श्री भगवान टोल्ड हिम टू फाइंड आउट हु इज द आई इन दिस इन हिज क्वेश्चन आफ्टर ए फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन इन दिस स्ट्रेन द डिवोटी आस्कड इंस्टेड ऑफ एंक्वायरिंग हु एम आई कैन आई पुट द क्वेश्चन टू माई सेल्फ हु आर यू Since then, my mind may be fixed on you, whom I consider to be God in the form of Guru. Shri Bhagwan replied, "Whatever form your inquiry may take, you must finally come to the one I, the Self. All these distinctions made between I and you, Master and disciple, are merely a sign of one's ignorance. That I, supreme alone, is." to think otherwise is to delude oneself thereupon shri bhagwan told the following story a puranic story of shrej ribhu and his disciple nigadha is particularly instructive although ribhu taught his devotee the supreme truth of the one brahman without a second nigadha in spite of his erudition and understanding did not get sufficient conviction to adopt and follow the path of gnana but settled down in his native town to lead a life devoted to the observance of ceremonial religion but the sage loved his disciple as deeply as the latter venerated his master in spite of his age ribhu would himself go to his disciple in the town just to see how far the latter had outgrown his ritualism At times the sage went to dis- disguise so that he might observe how Nigada would act when he did not know that he was being observed by his master one such on one such occasion ribhu who had put on the disguise of a rustic found nigada intently watching a royal procession unrecognized by the town dwellers nidagha the village rustic enquired what the bustle was all about and was told that the king was going in procession oh it is the king he got in procession but where is he asked the rustic there on the elephant said nidagha you say the king is on the elephant yes i see that too said the rustic but which is the king and which is the elephant what exclaimed nidagha you see the two but do not know that the man above is the king and the animal below is the elephant what is the use of talking to a man like you pray be not impatient with an ignorant man like me being begged the rustic but you said above and below what do they mean nidhaga could stand it no more you see the king and the elephant the one above and the other below yet you want to know what is meant by above and below burst out nidhaga if things seen and words spoken can convey so little to you action alone can teach you bend forward and you will know it all too well the rustic did as he was told nidagha got on to his shoulders and said know it now i am above as the king and you are below as the elephant is that enough clear is that clear enough no not yet was the rustic's reply you say you are above like the king and i am below like the elephant the king the elephant above and below so far it is clear but pray tell me what do you mean by i and you when nidagha was thus confronted all of a sudden with the mighty problem of defining the you apart from the i light dawned on his mind at once he jumped down and fell at his master's feet saying who else but my venerable master ribhu could have thus drawn my mind from the superficialities of physical existence to the true being of the self o oh, benign master i crave thy blessings chapter complete om namah shivaya